advanced hydrogen. I am showing you the hydrogen cell that my 14 year old son built for science project. He built it when he's 13, he just turned 14, so I've been corrected on that. Um, I'm going to let him explain it. He did build this. I helped a little bit. I designed it, obviously, because that's what I do. There were some things that were a little bit hard and dangerous that I felt he might get hurt doing, and I did them. But for the most part, the little rat uh, built this thing. Okay, now, what is this I'm looking at? Okay, so this is my electrolyzer, or HHO generator, if you want to call it. Uh, it has 11 state, 316L stainless steel plates, and there's gasket material in between them to make like a little gap for the hydrogen form, or brown gas. And it's ran by the, the power supply over there. Where? Over there. Oh, so the Bronco itself isn't running it? It's this power supply running it? Uh, pretty much. Oh, yeah. okay. And it's mounted on a Bronco. Where's the gas go when it, when it, where's it all this water and there. stuff going right here? I mean, how does this work? I see bubbles, but I don't, they're disappearing into this grill. What's going on here? They go to the re reservoir tank. Oh, that's what that is? Okay, let's and see. And you can smoke. see the brown gas. Whoa, what was that? Brown's gas. Didn't look brown. Yeah, but it was created by Yul Brown, or, uh, Dis discovered. Yeah. Oh, okay. So they named it after some guy named Yul Brown, huh? Yep. Also, what's that, that that vapor coming out of there? What is that? Um, I guess it's pretty much just brown's gas. I mean, it, it's gas for it. Oh, okay. So it's like a condensed <laughs> gas, I guess, yeah, you can see it. Dumb. Oh, yeah. okay. And then where's it go after that? Okay, after you go to that, uh, we inject it into the fuel line. Uh, fuel line or, or intake? intake? I think it goes into this air filter, doesn't it? What is it? Yeah, I think that's where it goes, right in the back of it, on the bottom. Am I correct or not? Yes. Oh, okay. I should know. So oh, that's right. Okay. But what is what's inside of this thing? Is there all kinds of like um, levers and mechanisms and oh yeah, and distilled kind of, water. And what's inside? Show me what's inside of one of those. I don't understand what's inside of it. It doesn't make any sense to me. How could this be it's, working? Uh, perfectly. Oh, you have one. So what's in there? What kind of magic stuff's in there? Uh, there's nothing in there. Ta-da! Pretty much all that really goes in here is distilled water. Well, I don't understand. How's it powered? I mean, if you had to sit on a bench like at the school, how's this thing going to run? It's you can't bring a Bronco in there. It's modified computer supply. That, so that came out of a computer? Yeah, it's so that's, by DC uh, current. It's oh, AC. okay. So it does what now? Oh. It, it, it does what? It converts AC to DC. Oh, okay. So what comes out of it? Like, how many volts comes out of these wires? Uh, 12 yeah. volts, rather. 12 volts. Oh, okay. So, okay. It's very stinky. Alrighty then. So, uh, what's the, the material inside of here? I mean, what is this? This metal inside oh, the metal? of there? Oh, 316 L stainless steel. Oh, okay. And what's this black stuff right here? Uh, the gasket material? Yeah, what is that? It's pretty much just like shower insulation, I guess. Really? Uh, it's not uh, maybe EPDM or neoprene. <laughs> it might be EPDM. I'm not sure. So what's this clear material? Is this glass? What is this? Pol uh, polycarbonate. Oh, so you got that right. Yeah, polycarbonate. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Yeah, and actually, you know what? Um, what is your electrolyte called in here? Uh, KOH, potassium hydroxide. Okay, potassium hydroxide. Um, yeah, we probably shouldn't have made this out of polycarbonate, but that's all we had laying around because polycarbonate and potassium hydroxide, uh, they don't like each other. It should have been actually Lexol or, or plexiglass, but that's okay. So how many plates are in here? Oh, 11. Oh, okay, 11. So you got how many how many negatives and how many positives are in here? Two. Okay, two, two negatives. Two and, negatives and one positive. Oh, and then how many plates in the middle, and what are they called? How many plates in the middle? Uh, On each side? 11 minus 3 is what? <laughs> Would there be four, <laughs> four neutrals, right? Yeah, four neutrals. Oh, okay, all right. So what's this supposed to do? Is this Bronco going to completely run by itself off of that little cell and it doesn't need gas? Is that what you're saying? No. If you can make it that way, but it's just going to run off gas. Or, yeah, so gas. it'll still run off gasoline, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. So what this will do is just, what, is it increase it the mileage? It mixes in it and increases it. It increases your gas mileage, your horsepower, and your exhaust. Oh, okay. So what does it do? Is it Does it increase the maybe the burn rate, make the fuel yeah. more efficient? Because we're getting horrible gasoline that basically is like donkey water. Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, that's that's pretty impressive. And, and so, if I wanted to buy one of these, where would I buy it at? Uh, here. <laughs> <laughs> so let's say. Uh, I mean, did you buy this or did you build this? 
I built it. Oh, okay. I was just checking. So you built it, huh? Yes. Who sir. taught you how to build something like this? My father. Wow. So, was it hard to build this? Was it painful and bloody and... Did you get, like, tore up? and? Yes, I lost just... an arm and a leg. Wow, an arm and a leg. <laughs> no, no. All right. What did you learn? How to build an iron tool. Oh, okay. So you could jump. actually build one of these again later on, like a, whenever you get a car and your parents are starving because they don't have any money to buy food because you're eating up all their money with gasoline. So you could actually put a, a, a <laughs> hydrogen booster on your car to help offset the fact that you eat so much? Hypothetically. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so there you have it. Teach your children to make hydrogen cells, and they will spend more time driving and less time in your refrigerator. Stuff like that.